Hi viewers, I am Dr. S. Angel Moss, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Mathematics, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Autonomous Cuddle. Now we will discuss about the area of mathematical programming. The title of Bomeris Mixed Integer Cutting Plane Method. We will explain and studied about the Bomeris Mixed Integer Cutting Plane. The Bomeris Mixer Integer Cutting Plane Method where consider the following mixed integer <coughs> linear programming problem. The maximize is at equal to C1 X1 plus C2 X2 and so on Cn Xn up to Cn Xn. Subject to the constraints A11 X1 plus A12 X2 plus etc. A1 N Xn that is equal to Bn B1. Then second constraints A21 X1 plus A22 X2 and so on plus A2 Xn equal to B2. Similarly, the AM1 X1 plus AM2 X2 plus etc. AMN Xn equal to that is Bn. The method of constructing additional constraints consider the standard form of mixed integer linear programming problem. Maximize Z equal to summation J equal to 1 to N Cj Xj. Subject to the constraints, summation j equal to 1 to n aij xj equal to bi for all i equal to 1 to m and xj greater than or equal to 0 and our integer for all j equal to 1 to k and k less than m. Now xbr equal to xr plus summation j not equal to k aij xj. That is, the subject to the constraints for all j equal to 1 to k and k less than m. Now, the format the standard integer linear programming problem if 3 or any non-integer coefficient in the constraints. Convert them into integers, coefficients and solve by using simplex method by ignoring the integer requirement of the variables. Now, check the optimal solution if the restricted basic variables have integer solutions, then the current solutions is the optimal solution. Otherwise, we have go to for additional constraints by using Gomery's mixer integer cutting plane method. Suppose, x sub xr is restricted to the integer and has the largest fractional value among all these basic variables which all are restricted to the integer value. Then rewrite the rth row from the op <coughs> optimal simplex method, simplex table. Now xbr equal x sub xr plus summation j not equal to k a j x j where x j represents all non basic variables in the r row except the variables x sub x r and x sub x b r is non integer value of x sub x r. Now decompose the coefficients of x j comma x r and x b r into integer and the non negative fractional part that is xbr equal xbr plus f sub xr and r r plus equal is a r j greater than 0 for all j and r minus equal a r j less than 0 for all j where j represents jth column of the simplex table Rewriting this equation xbr plus fr equal to 1 plus 0 into x of x of xr plus summation j belongs to r plus plus arj xj 
plus summation j belongs to r minus a r j x j. That is summation j belongs to r plus plus a r j x j plus summation j belongs to r minus plus a r j x j equal f sub x r plus x b r plus x sub x r. Then summation j belongs to r plus plus a r j x j plus summation j belongs to r minus plus a r j x j equal f sub x r plus i. This is equation 2, where i is the integer value and f sub x r strictly a positive fractional value. Then 0 less than f sub x r less than 1. Case 1. If f sub x r plus i is positive, then from equation 2, we have summation j belongs to r plus a r j x j plus summation j belongs to r minus a r j x j greater than or equal to f sub x r. That is, note that this equation is 3. Since a r j belongs to r minus and also non-positive, for all x j greater than 0. So, we write summation j belongs to r plus a r j x j greater than or equal to summation j belongs to r plus a r j x j plus summation j belongs to r minus a r j x j. Then summation j belongs to r plus a r j x j greater than or equal to f sub x r by equation 3. This is equation 4. Note that this is equation 4. Suppose f sub x r plus i is negative, then from equation 2, we have summation j belongs to r minus a r j x j as than or equal to summation j belongs to r plus a r j x j plus summation j belongs to r minus a r j x j less than or equal to minus 1 plus f sub x r. Now, summation j belongs to r minus a r j x j less than or equal to f sub x r minus 1. Multiply the above equation by minus f sub x r divided by f sub x r minus 1 on both sides. We get f sub x r divided by f sub x r minus 1. Summation j belongs to r minus a r j x j greater than or equal to f sub x r divided by f my sub x r minus 1 into f sub x r minus 1. This cancelled f sub x r minus 1 in numerator and denominator. Now we conclude that f sub x r divided by f sub x r minus 1 into summation j belongs to r minus a r j x j greater than or equal to f sub x r. This is equation 5. From equation 4 and 5, summation j belongs to r a r j x j plus f sub x r divided by f sub x r minus 1 into summation j belongs to r minus into a r j x j greater than or equal to f sub x r. This is equation 6. The equation 6 does not satisfy the optimal solution of linear programming problem without integer requirements. This is because putting x sub x j equal to 0 for all j, left hand side became 0 and the right hand side became positive. Therefore, equation 6 is called a Gomery's cut. By adding a non-negative Gomery's slack variable in equation 6, we get f s sub x g, that is slack variable, equal to minus f sub x r plus summation j belongs to r plus a r j x j plus f sub x r divided by f sub x r minus 1 into summation j belongs to r minus a r j x j that is equation 7. This equation is known as Gomery's mixer constraint in order to reduce a feasible region as much as possible through cutting plane. We may assume the smallest positive coefficient of f sub x r in equation 7. Now, f sub x r j such that f sub x r divided by 1 minus f sub x r into 1 minus f sub x r j. Therefore, 
f sub x r less than or equal to f sub x r divided by 1 minus f sub x r into 1 minus f sub x r j, it is obvious. That is, f sub x r j less than or equal to f sub x r. Therefore, from equation 7, s sub s g equal to minus f sub x r plus summation f sub x r j into x j. Where f sub x r j star equal to a r j if a r j greater than or equal to 0 and x j is non-integer. And f r f sub x r divided by f sub x r minus 1 into a r j such that a r j less than 0 and x j is non-integer. f sub x r j if f sub x r j less than or equal to f sub x r and s j is integer. Suppose f r divided by f sub x r minus 1 into 1 minus f r j if f r j into f r and f j is integer. That is Gomery's mixer integer linear programming problem. Thank you.